Our festival first takes place every year for the last 49 years. Uh, is a multi-discipline festival, which means uh, we promote uh, theater, dance, music, all sorts of music, jazz, classic, operas, world music, and the special projects, which are sometimes uh, inter-discipline projects, which combines music, video, dance, etc., um, we host every year around uh, a company from around 20 countries, except uh, Israel, uh, from all over the world. Um, we have one major uh, place where most of the performances take, take place, which is the Jerusalem, uh, uh, Jerusalem Theater, which has... Uh, Four halls, one of 1,000 seats for uh, operas and dance companies. Uh, the other one is for uh, classic music, uh, the Henry Crown Hall, with special acoustic for 800 seats. The third one is uh, about 500 seats, and uh, a studio of um, 250 seats. Beside that, all in this project, this uh, uh, compound, we have also two places uh, which are uh, open air uh, for uh, free performances during the festival um, for people who uh, you know want to stay over and uh, come and uh, listen to jazz and, and open uh, free jazz evening, etc. Or for children. Uh, besides that, we, we also uh, perform in different, different venues in Jerusalem. Uh, some other, uh, we have a hall of 3,000 seats, and we have an open-air amphitheater near the old walls of the old city of Jerusalem, which is, has about 6,000 seats for special occasions. Uh, we try to use as many as possible venues and uh, special places, historical places, to do some special uh, projects. Um, the festival, as I said, is mainly in the city of Jerusalem, but we have some extensions outside. Sometimes we take a company and uh, they, they tour more than one city. But um, 90% of the festival uh, takes place in, uh, in Jerusalem. And what is your vision about the upcoming edition of your festival this year? Do you plan any specific uh, we, themes? Yeah, we, we are concentrating uh, this year on uh, several uh, you know, artists. Uh, one of them is we, we decide to concentrate in theater on Shakespeare plays. Um, so we host two companies, uh, one from Lita and uh, and the other one from uh, Georgia. Um, one is doing a mid Midnight uh, Summer Dream, and the other one is doing uh, Macbeth. And we have uh, a local young Israeli company that are doing uh, Romeo and Juliet in, in a new uh, sort for young people, uh, like in the rock a type of atmosphere, and we have also a company, small company, that is doing Shakespeare in English, in traditional English, uh, Shakespeare English. So um, um, these are the, the, the four or five different uh, theaters uh, that we are hosting uh, uh, this year. So, And besides that, we have lectures and discussions uh, about the uh, plays of Shakespeare or, uh, with a you know, new, new way of doing it. Um, this is one project. Uh, another project is uh, concentrating on Agnon, who is a Nobel Prize uh, Israeli-born writer, uh, that we're doing uh, some uh, plays around his uh, short stories with local groups. Uh, the third one is uh, Chopin, since it's the year of Chopin. So we are doing in classic music um, uh, uh, one marathon with uh, uh, the Jerusalem Symphony Orchestra and, and some uh, winners of uh, 
Chopin competitions and uh, other competitions in Israel, um, as well as uh, in four different weekends in a very special and pastoralic place near the city, uh, we do uh, apropos Chopin, which means uh, some pieces will be Chopin, uh, you know, recitals, and some pieces will be uh, done by young Israelis who do, according to Chopin, something new. So this will be uh, another third project. The fourth one is we are trying to uh, focus this year on jazz, uh, for those who like jazz. So we're doing, uh, we are hosting um, two uh, um, uh, American groups, Charles Lloyd and Joe Lovano, uh, two giant uh, American jazz players in a big hall and in a big, big studio, and the two others, one from Italy and one from Poland. A trio from Poland is doing the Chopin jazz. Um, so so uh, this is another point of view. Um, we host uh, this year also uh, some companies from in, in dance from Argentina and the uh, United States and Israel. Each one is doing a different uh, new uh, production um, uh, in, in dance because we have a lot of uh, dance lovers. And uh, we host uh, two uh, um, winners um, from, this, um, from, from uh, uh, England. One is uh, the King Singers, um, and the other one is the Theatre of Voices. Which is mainly classic, uh, uh, classic music. So I just gave you, in you know, in general and in in in, in principle, uh, what we do, we, we try to host the best that we can do from abroad, and from Israel, what we try to do is to expose the young generation, not the established uh, theaters or dance companies, but the young. Uh, new ones that need uh, support and exposure. So we have, uh, in, in during uh, you know the years of the festival, many groups who started as unknown companies in in uh, in the festival and became famous. And this is something we are very proud of uh, because we gave them the first real chance uh, nationally and internationally. So like that, we are hosting uh, about six different groups. One of them I mentioned before about Romeo and Juliet in, in uh, the, and uh, the one for Agnon. A story, short story, this is in theater. And then we have in the music a group that is called Andra La Musia, which is a local Israeli group. And another group that is based their the repertoire in world music on traditional Jewish uh, music from uh, Morocco and Andalusia and Spain. And they are using all the singers that came to Israel 50 years ago, but the, the, the band and the orchestra will be mainly young Israelis. Some, some of them are playing in Israel, some of them in the States and in Europe. So it's like a combination of old and new to maintain the old uh, music uh, traditional from different parts of the world where Jewish people lived for, for many um, hundreds of years and not to lose it, and then to bring them to the new generation in a new way. So this is in principle the way we, we operate every year.